I don't have kids, but if I did, they'd be getting this. Okay, so I love science, technology, engineering, math, STEM. And if I had kids, I would be introducing this to them immediately. I don't really have anyone in my family who is in engineering or in coding or anything like that. So it's kind of just me. I wasn't introduced into it until super late on in life. And if I was introduced into it earlier, I'm pretty sure it would have been easier for me. With kits like this, it's literal steam DIY creative ideas for you. Theme scene, hands-on availability, physical science, circuit knowledge. Guys at building circuits is super important for a computer engineer. And it's cool that you get to build this and have fun at the same time. So let's take a look at what this science horse has to offer. This is pretty much what it's going to look like when it's done. We get a whole rocket. We get an astronaut. We get to blow balloons, a switch, battery box, connection pieces. We can manually blow bubbles and a buoyancy ball. Ooh, okay. And these are like breadboards or the building block bottom plates. Dude, I actually am pretty hyped myself to open this. Let's open up this Snap Circuit Steam Electronic Kit. There's over 25 Snap Circuit parts, so this should be pretty fun. We're gonna get hands on learning, diverse experiments, and it's extremely safe while providing educational significance. The only thing you're gonna need to provide on your end is three AAA batteries. All right, let's open this up and get into building it. In the box, you have all the pieces here, and then you have a little manual. There's a lot in here, which is great. You can really go step by step, day by day, and build this, or do it all at once. We're gonna do it all at once. There will be chapters in here so you can pause and then we can go through this all together. First is the battery installation. We want to confirm that the power is turned off. Use a screwdriver to open the battery box cover. Pay attention to installing three new 1.5 AAA batteries with the correct polarity. Polarity just means positive and minus. We're then going to want to place the battery cover and tighten the screws. Let's go over some circuit knowledge. There's two types of circuits here. It's going to be parallel and series circuits. Let's build these. Let's understand a series circuit. So series connection refers to the sequential connection of all circuit components, starting and ending one by one. In a series circuit, the current passing through all electrical appliances is equal everywhere. So current is the same throughout the whole circuit. The characteristic of series connection is that there is only one current path. Remember, it flows through everything. It just goes in series one by one, and the current in the path is equal everywhere. The total voltage of the series circuit is equal to the sum of the voltages at that location. And the equivalent resistance in series is equal to the sum of resistances. So voltage can change and resistance can change. Each switch in series controls the on and off of the entire circuit. Because if you open a circuit, meaning that there's not a full connection, then no electricity can flow through. Now let's talk about parallel circuits. The parallel connection is a connection method that connects two or more components head to head and tail to tail and the voltage of the components in parallel is equal. So the voltage across everything that's in parallel is the same. Current is what's gonna split. The characteristics of parallel connection is that there are several paths in the circuit and the voltage is equal everywhere in the parallel circuit. If connected in parallel with the power supply, the parallel voltage is the same as the power supply voltage. So if you look at the picture we have here, let's say the power supply is 10 volts, L1 and L2 will both be getting 10 volts. The parallel main switch controls the on and off of all electrical appliances, which the branch switch controls the on and off of all electrical appliances in the branch. So you see that we have that S for switch. Well, when we open it, no power is going to flow to L1 or L2. But if we had a switch on only L2, that lane, and we were to open it, no power would be going to L2, only power would be going to L1, so just keep that in mind. And that's all for series and parallel connections in our circuits. Let's go ahead and start building the modules. So I have these two plates right here, and this is going to be perfect for when we build the entire thing later, but we're just gonna use one for now. I took some other stuff out of the package, so we have our rocket, we have our spaceman, and we have this, like, ball bouncy thing i don't know but we're gonna get into all of it here's the package here's all the stuff let's just get right into it so following the instruction connecting the circuits i'm just gonna build it with you because i know what i'm doing but for you go ahead and read the instructions let's just start doing this together i'm gonna assume that you've already read the instructions all right you read it okay cool i'm gonna go ahead and if you haven't by the way you can just pause the video and we can continue from there Let's just put this in here. Okay, that sits in super nicely. These are in here. Let's grab the connectors out of here. Check this out. We're just gonna be wiring everything individually right now, but I think afterwards we'll wire everything in parallel. So 
we'll have everything working together or in series. I don't know. Let's see how the instructions have us wired in, wiring it afterwards. Hey, little springy guys. Okay, this is how you connect it. Make sure you get the polarity right. Cool. We're going to put the red inside the spring. Super easy to do. Then we have to do the same for the negative connection. Make sure your battery is off. Untangle that real quick. Put this one anywhere in here. Cool. Those are set. Let's go to the switch. Oh, and by the way, we're going to go over how all this works in a second. Right here. And pretty much the power is going from the battery to the red wire. So we got to kind of chase it with these. We're going to follow through. So the power is going to go into the switch with this wire. From there, it goes to the switch. We flip the switch. We complete the circuit. And then this is going to go to something. So let's say it goes to our rocket guy. Okay, these are untangled. Let's put this guy right here. And then we have these other ones. So let's try not to get everything tangled up yet. Put it there. We'll get this one. We'll just put it right here. The switch is going to go in here, and so it needs to connect to our rocket somehow, right? So we're going to connect it with this red one. Okay, we are now connected. Now we'll have this ground wire. So all this one should do is just go back to our battery, which is over here. Kind of got to stretch it and then pull it over here. Wow, we are super stretching it. Okay, I think that's pretty good, y'all. Go ahead and load our rocket. Now, it's going to be kind of loud, so just be warned. It's going to shoot up. Just be careful of that. Push it all the way down, lock it into place. This is flipped on. This is flipped. I think it's, I don't know. We'll, we'll see it. Flipped away from the wires. I think it's flipped on. There's a black button right here. Let's press it. It shoots up. All right, solid. Okay, that's pretty much it. So essentially you're converting electrical energy, which is stored in batteries, to kinetic energy, which is launching this rocket up. All right, what else do we have here? Let's make sure we flip everything off before we touch our circuit that's just good practice now we can disconnect this part which is what we put in and let's try one of the other things let's go ahead and utilize this other board why don't we because the other board already has it and then this side is just gonna have these grooves and you just slide it down and that locks it into place boom all righty now let's take a look at the other stuff that we have a little astronaut man i have no clue what this guy does let's put him right here don't be afraid of touching anything because double check everything is off so we should be good paste the power wire in here let's place the blue wire in this one and let's turn it on after we turn the battery box on oh he lights up look at that y'all check that out that is pretty cool, his headlights up. Let's flick it, switch on and off. Awesome. Now we have one more thing to do, and that's just this bubble blowing one. We have our wires, make sure everything is off, guys. I can't stress that enough. And let's go ahead, and we're just gonna place it right in front of the homie astronaut. Try to let space ears out a little bit. Mine's so compact right now. Let's go and place this red wire in here. Let's take the astronauts out first, though. So we'll take it out of the ground. And then we'll take it out of the power. So positive and negative for the astronaut disconnected. Double positive in here, and then the negative in here. Okay, let's put our little ball right here. Flip the switch for the batteries on. Flip this switch. Oh, it is, it is jiggling. Oh, we're supposed to like put it on afterwards. That is cool. Ah! <laughs> look at that. It just sits there. And look, it comes with another one here. So you can really space out your whole thing. Look, it's still moving. And then it also comes with these, which will hide some of your wires and keep it looking a bit nicer. That's pretty much it for connecting the circuits, guys. Let's go ahead now and try to combine everything. We're going to do this everything in parallel. That basically means all of the positive wires are going to come out of this switch. So the switch goes to this little nub right here, we know that. So if we go ahead and we put all of our positive wires, so the one for the astronaut, the one for this little ball thing, the one for our rocket, if we put them all in here like that, and then we do the same thing with the uh, negative right here. So we put the one for the rocket, we put the one for our ball, and we put the one for our astronaut in here. Check this, guys. If we flip our switch to on, and then we flip this switch to on. We can see the astronaut lights up. This goes off. 
And if we put our rocket in here, we have a whole space station. Now, just a fun fact before we close out the video. Everything is connected in parallel, which means the current is going to split between here, here, and here. And the current is basically what's giving everything its power. So if we turn this on, this is going to go on. And this, if I press this button, will go on. The LED light for this is going to get dimmer once I press this on. And that's just because the power that's going to these two is now going to have to split three ways and go to this one. Check this out. On, everything's good. Watch when I press this. You see the light? And that's just because the current is being split. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed playing around with this. Let me know if you think you have anyone in your family that would like something like this. I definitely have a few people in mind. I think it's super cool, super fun. It's a great way to get in the know about Steam. All right, y'all, thanks for checking this out with me. And I hope to see you later. Maybe we'll check out some more cool stuff like this.